Number 23, letter A. What is the efficiency of a cyclical heat engine in which 75 kilojoules of heat transfer occurs to the environment for every 95 kilojoules of heat transfer into the engine? All right. So basically, we have to find efficiency, all right, uh, for a cyclical heat engine. So we know it's this formula over here. It's going to be the efficiency is equal to the work output divided by the, uh, the uh, heat of the hot reservoir, a.k.a. the heat inputted into the engine, all right? Uh, now, we are asked to calculate the efficiency. Did they tell us the work? Oh, no, they did not. Did they tell us, though, the heat put into the engine? And it says, yes, 95 kilojoules of heat transferred into the engine. Okay, great. So that means, though, I need to find the work first. So I know another formula here that deals with cyclical uh, engines here, and it's going to be that the work is equal to Q sub H, meaning the heat of the hot reservoir, minus then the heat of the cold reservoir. In other words, this is the heat put into the engine, and this is the heat uh, given off into the environment by the engine. So we can actually do a quick substitution here, right? We can simply now take Q sub H minus Q sub C into the numerator, because that is the work, divided by Q sub H. And then I can reorganize this if I wanted, but I'm just going to leave that alone for now. And all we have to now do is plug in the values, right? So the hot reservoir was 90, and you can leave this, by the way, in kilojoules, because it's just simply a ratio, but you got to make sure your units are consistent. Then minus the 75, because that's to the environment, and then divided by then the 95, and voila, Let's calculate the efficiency. So this is basically 95 minus 75, which is 20, and then divide that by 95. So this is about 21%, or AKA in decimal form, two, uh, 0.21, I guess, three six phase. So about, about 2.11, somewhere around there. All right, that takes care of letter A. And then how about now letter B? How much work, okay? So how much work does it produce from 100 kilojoules of heat transfer into the engine? So it sounds like I can use this formula again, right? Efficiency is equal to work divided by the uh, heat put into the engine. I'll solve this for work, right? And when I when I when that happens, I realize that I can simply take the efficiency, which I just found, and then multiply that by the heat put into the engine, right? And they told us 100 kilojoules of heat now transferred into the engine. So basically, I can take that efficiency of 0.211 and then multiply it by the 100 kilojoules. And the work output now would be roughly, right, just doing the math here, it's about 21.1 uh, joules, okay? Uh, excuse me, excuse me, kilojoules. Since I use kilojoules, uh, this is a kilojoule value. All right, you can convert that to joules if you like, uh, whatever you need, all right? So take care, guys. Thank you so much for watching our video, and we'll see you soon.